Hi, this is Dunamis333, uh, a sister by the name of uh, Kathy Mayers asked me to do a video uh, regarding this comment that I keep posting in, in uh, other people's uh, channels. So this is for you, Kathy. Okay, now this is what I, I wrote. We count the seven Sabbaths after the seven-day Feast of Uneven Bread to locate Shavuot, the festival of first fruits of harvest. So that's the Shavuot, is the festival of first fruits of harvest. This is how it's recorded in the Book of Jubilees. Now, um, it, it, what's in the Book of Jubilees is also in our Bibles too. So I'm just going to... Um, read this and then we i'll make some highlights um in leviticus the leviticus text below i've inserted this year's feast dates using the torah calendar to locate passover feast of uneven bread shavuot and pentecost we all know now that the torah calendar is off by a month so the second month is the actual first month so let me show you here this is the Torah calendar. This second month is the first month. So let's go through um, Leviticus 23. Now it says, On the 14th day, that's the 5th of May, of the first month at twilight is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day, 6th May, of the same month is the Feast of Uneven Bread to the Lord seven days. So that would be, you can see here, let me just let me see here. So you can see this is Passover and this is the Feast of Unleavened Bread from the 6th to the 12th. 6th to the 12th, that's the on Feast of Unleavened Bread. And then it goes on to say, um, you must eat Unleavened Bread on the first day, the 6th of May, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, but you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord for seven days. That's 6th to the 12th of May. The seventh day, that 12th of May, is a special Sabbath day of rest. Now, this is very important. This is not your usual Sabbath. This is a special Sabbath because it's the seventh day of the Feast of Living Bread. It shall be a holy convocation. Then it goes on to say, He shall wave the sheave before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf on the day 13th of May after the Sabbath. This Sabbath here is day 21. It's, it's the special Sabbath. So they wave the offering on the, uh, the day after, which is called, that is actually the weekly Sabbath. So if you can see here, let me show you. So you can see this is the special Sabbath, this one here. This is your weekly Sabbath because Sabbath days, as, I, as I've said in many of my videos, are the 8th, 15th, 22 and 29th of every Hebrew month. But on the Feast of Unleavened Bread, this is the Sabbath that they're referring to in Leviticus 23, day 21, the seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So it goes on to say here, um, then it goes on to say, just start over here. Let me start from here. The seventh day, 12th of May, special Sabbath day of rest, shall be a holy convocation. He shall wave the sheep before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf on the day, that's 13th of May, after the Sabbath, 12th of May, the priest shall wave it. And you shall count for yourselves from the day, 13th of May, at sunset, after the Sabbath, this is the special Sabbath, from that day that you brought the sheaf of the weave offering, seven Sabbaths. So those seven Sabbaths that we count are uh, the 20 and the 28th of May, then the 4th, 11, 18, and 27th of June, and then we count the seventh Sabbath is the 4th of July. That is Shavuot. Shall be complete, completed. Count 50 days. Now this is now the after the 5th of July, we now count 50 days to arrive at the 23rd of August. That will be the Pentecost. So you count 50 days to the day after the 7th Sabbath. Then you shall offer 
a new grand offering to the Lord. So, my brothers and sisters, let me just read this. Now, we now know now that um, is asked this question here: Is Shavuot, the fourth of July, twenty twenty three, the last day the Lord spoke about? Yes, it is. Then we read John six here. John six here. That's nine and forty. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up at the last day. And this, uh, and this, and this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I raise him up at the last day. The last day is Shavuot, the last day of the week, the seventh week that we count from the, uh, after the Feast of the Living Bread. Like I said here, Day 8, 15, 22, and 29 of the Torah calendar months are always Sabbath days. Sometimes these dates fall on Saturday or Sunday on our pagan Gregorian calendar. At other times they don't. Whether they do or don't is relevant on God's timeline. The 4th of July, 2023 is Shavuot. This day falls on day 15, month 3. Let's, let's just check it out on the calendar here. Let me just move it here. Okay. Um, we can see here, we're already in summer. As you can see, you can see day 15. This is day 15, it's month 3 on God's calendar. That's the 4th of July. So, day 15 month three tuesday the fourth of july is the last day that will end a seven day week that will begin on wednesday the 28th of june 2023 so my brothers and sisters this is our last week here from here from 28th of june to the fourth of july that's the last seven days one two three four Five, six, seven days. Those are the last seven days. It's not going down here. Okay. So it says here. Like I wrote here. Our last month began on the 20th of June. Last week will begin on the 28th of June. The last day is the 4th of July. And now the counting down has really begun before our very eyes. The 4th of July is a Sabbath day, regardless of what day of the week it falls on, on the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar. According to what many believe, the Lord is not using the Gregorian calendar to mark time. So this is, a, I just made a, give a summary of what I just wrote here, which is, I've written here. Shavuot and Pentecost are not the same festivals. Shavuot is the day of ascension. Pentecost is 50 days later. Many assumptions and errors have made it difficult to pinpoint the day of the rapture until now. Um, what do we now know? This is what we now know. The Lord died on the cross in 30 AD. The Lord's birthday is on Shavuot on day 15, month 3. The Lord ascended up into heaven on his birthday on Shavuot on day 15, month 3 in 30 AD. The Torah calendar is a month off. The sun must be in the constellation of Aris to begin the Hebrew year. Day 1 of month 1 fell correctly on the 22nd of April 2023. I showed you that in the Torah calendar. Passover was on the 5th of May. The Feast of Living Bread ended on the 13th of May. We must then count off 7 Sabbath to locate Shavuot. And these are the 7 days that we count till we get to the 4th of July. The 7th Sabbath falls on Tuesday, the 4th of July, 2023, on the Gregorian calendar. This is Shavuot, also known as the Festival of First Roots of Harvest. This is when I, I'm expecting the rapture to occur. And Pentecost is on the, it's 50 days later, on the 23rd of August, 2023. So, my brother and sister, this is a quick rundown of the timeline that we are on. It looks like this really is it. Um, I just want everyone to be encouraged. And I'll see you at the wedding banquet. Bye for now.